unscripted source of truth, supporting the struggle for international justice daily. Yeah, we was just covering drones, you know. I tried to call the radio station, but they got my number blocked now. So, you know, the point is, is that drones is a catastrophe. It's a disaster. And, you know, I put this out there because I know it's true. And in the future, we're going to see this. Yeah, you're going to see these drones are going to be so-called hacked and used against us. And, um, so, I mean, you know, it, it's a no-brainer. If you see a drone, assume that drone is coming to kill you. And make sure you get that drone before it gets you. Period. Um, you know, the, 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 the thing is that they want, they really believe in this, this machine, their creation with their own hands. Because they think, well, the more people we got involved, the more perfect it is. But that's not true, because the only thing that's perfect is the spirit. And the more man's hand touches it, the more imperfect it gets. Yes, the more imperfect it gets, because nature's perfect. Nature balances itself out. But when man comes along, man causes these imbalances within nature, and everything in nature. So real quick with the drones, you know, their thing is, oh, well, you know, it won't be a danger to us because we have the defense systems to shoot them down. Hmm. Well, not the average person, but the military, yeah. So, you know, on a large scale, they'll be able to defeat it, but only in these countries, these, these, these Western countries um, and, and other built-up countries. What they're trying to say is that third world countries won't be able to defend themselves if they don't have the defense equipment, and that's okay. Well, what if there's a small chance that there's people that exist on the earth that don't want to live their life as a purpose to um, destroy and to continue to destroy? In other words, some people realize that their philosophy is different than others, and they're not out to change other people's philosophy because they don't think that that's their purpose in life. But yet, how is it that some people believe that their philosophy should be spread and should be adapted by everyone in the world? And if it's not, those same people are going to hostilely, you know, and very subtly and covertly um, alter those people's philosophies to adapt to their ways. How is it those, those, those people can justify that? So, you know, drones... Like I said before, you know, if you use a drone to kill somebody, it doesn't matter if you're one of these man women or one of these, you know, half man women, whatever you call yourself, bro, you can call yourself a coward. You can call yourself a coward. You can call yourself a coward a few times. And you can continue to look at yourself in the mirror and call yourself a coward. Because it, 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 what, what else is a coward? What else is a coward? Someone sits in the room with a little video game. Yeah, they want to make it out to be like, you know, this is something that people have emotions about. No, they've desensitized people's emotions. You can't play that game. That's the same game you play with the herb. That's the same game you play with the climate change. It doesn't work. It makes no sense. It's the ultimate confusion. It's the biggest lie. And now people realize the, that you are using these big lies so you can confuse people's minds. And they're not having it no more. Not having it no more. Real quick, Holder, um, you know, says that, you know felons should be allowed to vote. He he cites places like Florida where there's been you know discrimination over time. You know, possibly Al Gore would have got in to um, become president in 2000 if um, minorities and people that were felons had been able to vote. Um, some people are against this idea. They 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 say that he doesn't got it right. They say that he he should go ahead and pass the law barring state felony disfranchisement, disfranchisement statutes. So they're saying that if Holder really about it, he, he, he should just pass the law banning um, this practice. And I believe that, he should. Um, abolitionists viewed at the time as radicals embrace what has been called a philosophy of formal equality. They not only insisted on the liberation and enfranchisement of former slaves, but also supported the disenfranchisement of criminals, rebels, and other wrongdoers. So, 
the Attorney General proposes substituting for current laws and practice was essentially the transitional standard imp implicit of the phrase paid one debt to society. Once the sentence has been served, the fine pays it's time to make it, as a cleaner company slogan says, like never ever happened. So, you know, this guy, he doesn't seem like he's a line, but, you know, it, it is. It, it's true. Um, once you commit a crime and you serve your time, you should be um, exonerated. Um, I, myself, with a felon, you know, it stuck with me. You know, I, could, I, I, you know, I have a master's degree, but I couldn't get a job working for anybody. And it's a blessing. It's a blessing from the Most High. Yes, because it's made me have to search within myself and develop myself and also have to... It was a humbling experience. You know, it makes you realize what it's actually like to be one of these minorities, one of these people that's disadvantaged like that, you know? And, um, you know, so from my standpoint, you know, still going through it, something that happened almost 15 years ago, but I know that I will still have the effects for the rest of my life. And when I tried to get a pardon, well, the lady wanted to know if I was drinking alcohol. So I said, well, yeah, I drank a couple glasses of wine. I mean, I got caught with some herb. Now, I don't drink any alcohol no more. Thank the Lord. See? But then, after Babylon confused your mind, put you in the shit stem, you come out, and that's what you become. You drink and things of this nature. But I did drink casually. But they used that against me. Apparently, they wanted me not to drink. Well, I don't drink anymore. I'm a Rasta man. Are they going to let me off now? So, it don't matter. See, what they want to do is they want to take the place of Jack. That's what they always wanted to do. That's what this is all about. The gay marriage and, and all these laws. They want you to believe that these laws are, are legit that they're legitimate, but they're not legitimate. They never were. 